development of the front and rear wheels. Two tools are needed, a 13mm AF spanner and a 2.5mm AF Allen key. Uh, remove the left hand bolt, remembering that it is a left hand thread so it must be turned clockwise to remove it. Uh, also withdraw the um, spring washer. Then using the 2.5mm AF uh, Allen key or hexagonal key uh, remove the two button head screws that retain the brake band assembly. Each of these has got a spring washer underneath it which must be retained and reused. Uh, remove the brake band carefully so that the rear wheel can be dropped out and remove the right hand bolt in the same way remembering that it is a conventional bolt with a right hand thread so it's turned counterclockwise. Uh, when this bolt has been removed slightly spread the rear crankcase so that the drive axle can be withdrawn from between the two plastic outer forks. Then unhook the chain from the drive axle and remove the wheel. Replacement of the rear wheel, rear wheel is a uh, reverse of removal. So hook the chain back over the drive sp axle sprocket and pop the drive axle between the two fork halves and reinsert the rear bolt, remembering again that the right hand bolt is a conventional bolt and is turned clockwise to tighten. Finally tighten the uh, right hand side to the specified torque in the user manual. Turning the bike over to do the left hand side, remember that the left hand bolt has a left hand thread so it must be turned counterclockwise to insert and tighten. Again, tighten it finally to the specified torque in the user manual. After securing the rear wheel, carefully reinsert the brake band assembly and uh, reusing the two spring washers, reinsert the two fasteners to hold the brake band assembly. Before final tightening, it should be checked that there is a gap between the brake band and the hub to prevent any rubbing. Tighten both fasteners securely so that the spring washers are fully compressed and then double check that the brake band is in a position where it doesn't touch the, band, the brake hub. Replacing the front wheel is very similar. Again use a 13mm AF spanner to undo the conventional uh, nut and remove it along with the spring washer. Then from the opposite side withdraw the front axle bolt. Either side of the front wheel are two aluminium spaces that will drop out or can be pulled out. 
then the front wheel can be maneuvered away from the brake band and removed. Replacing the front wheel, slide the front wheel in and maneuver it so that the uh, it sits inside the brake band. Then insert the front axle and the aluminium spacer with the large flat face of the spacer against the plastic fork. On the opposite side insert the second spacer again with a large flat face against the plastic fork and push the front axle bolt all the way through. Then reassemble making sure that there is a flat washer, a spring washer and then the nylon insert nut. Then tighten with a spanner to the torque specified in the user manual. Finally, check that the brake band is in good position.